hope everybody had a great weekend and we are going to jump right into this week's announcement. Um, we're going to briefly, I'm just going to read off my notes here. We're going to cover last week's content, connect the content to upcoming assignments and provide some reminders for the upcoming week. Um, so last week we learned how to create speeches. We learned about Monroe's motivated, motivated sequence, um, the parts of a speech and how to use an outline. Speaking of an outline, there is an example for you on Canvas. If you'd like to have that resource, there's also one in the textbook. But first and foremost, you might be thinking to yourself, this isn't a public speaking class. I'm learning about business and professionalism. But I will say learning how to speak formally and confidently is going to help you in the professional environment. We're doing everything for a purpose and help build our skills. No matter what stage you're in in your professional career or what field you are going to be in or join, all of these tools are for you and your future in the professional industry. Um, the module as a whole was intended to help prepare you for the upcoming assignment. And the upcoming assignment to which I am referring is the presentation of qualifications. Now, this is all about presenting your skills and qualifications in a professional, organized, and of course, convincing manner, because that is key to securing any job or any position you're looking to move into or upwards on. Now, this assignment is designed to give you the opportunity to begin working on those skills. So how can you be professional and professionally communicate organized ideas and be convincing? Um, so what we're going to do, it's a low stakes assignment. So it's just going to be a quick video that you will upload and send to your YouTube page. And then it's done. That's all you got to do. There's going to be a full assignment description and it only has to be about two minutes long. Um, you'll soon find the assignment guide located in Canvas in the assignment information module. So that'll be there for you soon. That being said, we're going to move on to this week's content. Yes. All right, we're going to be covering chapter two, which is verbal and nonverbal communication. Verbal being, of course, those words or phrases that we're used to, and nonverbal being anything ranging from facial expressions to emojis, uh, to posture, um, tattoos. You might have seen I have a couple. Um, and even the clothes we wear. So if I was walking into an interview or coming to teach class and this is what I showed up in, you might begin to interpret or decode the messages I bring to the situation or to the context. You know, is, is she a Packers fan? Um, is she professional, unprofessional? Did she have a really good time at the game last night? Was she at the game? Maybe she didn't do laundry. She's disorganized. We are going to learn how um, to understand all of those messages, how we can change our interpretation or a decoding process and how those verbal and nonverbals function in communication. Um, so lastly, we're gonna talk about the assignment reminders. So remember to post and submit your social capital on LinkedIn or your social capital posts, I should say. Um, all you have to do, remember, is to find an article that connects to the content, post to our group on the LinkedIn page and respond to someone in the group. Just please ensure that no one else has posted the same article um, then you'll document it via the instructions on the assignment guide and that's it submit it on canvas and you're all set um there's quiz number one with chapters 1 to 12 and 13. now the quiz is going to be timed however you can use your book and take it as many times as you'd like we're doing this strategy for the quiz so you can be prepared for the midterm it's going to increase your retention and you're going to get faster and faster at everything um, for the future, I just want to say there is a change in the final assignment. Um, we are no longer doing a group project, which some of you might be like, yeah, but we're still going to work in pairs. So keep that in mind. Um, I will let you know when I update the assignment in syllabus, in the syllabus. Whew. All right. Getting through it all. Um, lastly, I would like to say and end off on a cool note. The UWM Fall 2022 All Majors Career Fair is September 29th from 10 to 2. Um, the Fall Career Fair is awesome. I had some students go last year, I should say, and they loved it. It's an awesome networking opportunity. You get a really great feel for speaking with other professionals or where industries are going. 
Um, and I strongly suggest if you have a digital copy or a QR code for your resume to bring that with you. You might be able to just make some connections right there. Um, at the ferry, you'll find employers seeking UWM students for internships, part-time and full-time employment. And that is even open to alumni. So call your friends. Um, whew, all right, that's all I have for you this week. Of course, any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to chat, whether it's during my office hours or if you'd like to set up an appointment or just ask me some questions via email. Um, that's all. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will touch base with you later. Bye. I don't